this is the LED neon lighting uh, we're proposing for Cal Plaza for Danny. This is uh, this first one here is um, it's a flat LED neon. I'm just bringing that and going to show it to you. I don't think that's going to work for what you want to do, but there are certain instances where you want to use something like that, like on a trim or something. Um, this is the dome shaped. It's got the side dome, so you can see it from the side or the top. And that's what I'm planning to use. And this is also the same thing, dome. The difference in these are, the first two are DMX controlled. And the third one, it's a different manufacturer, which is SPI controlled. Um, they're all pixel based. So there's... Um, eight DMX channels per meter, they call it. And it's all in metric. It's out of China. And uh, the SPI, I don't like that anymore. That's one we were using uh, because it's like a USB. It's a serial peripheral interface. And you're limited to distances, noise issue. The DMX, I think it's rated like 4,000 feet. Not that we would go that far, but um, it's it's older technology, but it's included in the new technology because the chips. Basically, you're looking at what the chip is inside the 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 flex. I had a cutaway piece, but I don't know where that is now. But you have chips with the the intelligence, the data, as well as the LED, the three-in-one LED, spaced. Well, you can maybe see these little lines, but there's, um, I can't tell you the spacing. <laughs> we'll have to look that up. But they're, they're pretty tight. Okay, so the DMX is the way I would prefer to go. SPI, I'm just showing it because I have it, basically. Uh, this is the board. The, well, uh, we would need to build a control, something like this. It's got a power supply. I think it's a 13 or 14 amp, 24 volt DC power supply. That'll get us to uh, right around 20 meters. And we have to power it from both ends. Uh, but we can butt these up. You can see these. See, this one's powered only on one end, and the other end is, is capped. It's butted. So we actually feed them from both ends. But you see these actually come out the end of it. The ones we would get for you would come out the side. Okay, so uh, the, the neon would be butted end to end but the connection would be out this side here going down so you know you'd have continuous uh, LED you wouldn't have to have, see the break you never see that little thing that's I don't know an eighth of an inch or so but you you wouldn't see that from any distance at all this so it's connected here to the terminal strip you probably will have to get a cable if you want to extend it the 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 one the SPI I have a cable on it. I don't know how long it is. It's probably 10 feet. And the others just have this little piece of cable. It's about a foot or so. So it's not going to do you a lot of good. I'm, I'm not sure how you would mount this uh, or how you plan on mounting it. I, obviously, you wouldn't mount this one. We'd probably just disconnect that one. But you might want to compare these other two. This is the, well, here is a SPI, DMX to SPI decoder and that's what we used to use so basically it's still DMX right all the control like what you have out there now is the SPI down at the fountain so we have one of these decoders up there and then the DMX goes to this controller same controller you have um, and so I'll just change some colors that's a red color hopefully they, you can see it on the camera that's a green color see so same as actually I use the same program you have so you know what they are. Number three is blue. Number four is uh, the Fiesta. Number five. I'm not sure you can see that, but that's the red and blue. Exactly the same as you, you have. That's some white. And now I can blend these too. It's, these are just colors I picked up. That's green. And uh, I think I have a green and red for the Christmas time one. I think that's what that is, but it takes a little time for that red to go through because these are short pieces and it starts on the opposite end. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure what that one is, but you can see it's something. 
But we can come up with whatever program makes you happy. Could even do it to music. But, you know, it doesn't really apply to what you're doing. So that's program 10 that I'm running there. Program 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth. Uh, now there is one, we talked about that before, that you can hook up to the internet. But I don't know that you want to do that. But in this case, it may, might make sense. Now this is color chasing. That's so you can see it's all pixel based. Uh, meaning you can have multiple colors on one piece of LED neon. Now the, what they call color changing would be all one color. It's a little cheaper, easier. Um, doesn't use much power. Probably doesn't look as... Uh, what, what, what is this term? As busy? Or, you know, like a party. Uh, you may just want that for a static look. And I don't remember what color you have. I think one of those is green and one's kind of a, a claret color on those two buildings. I don't really know. But we can we can make that color if you want just a single color. But uh, might be a little dull, right? Um, I mean dull as in boring. Okay. That's what I'm going to bring to you, uh, uh, actually, tomorrow, which is Wednesday. I just got it done today, and I need to get a switch ring for this box. It's a 4S box, but this thing hooks up to a, a handy box, switch box type. So I need to get a ring at Home Depot. But I'll bring it in tomorrow morning. I just wanted you to see what it is. And then maybe you can prepare to get this cable. It looks like um, you can get by with three wires, so... I think it's plus minus in data. Yeah. So if you just have a three wire cable, like an extension cord you want to cut, we can use that to extend these. All right. Thanks.